Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 32 match of CCL Season 45 between Chigand and his Undead with a Strength 7 Mummy versus Crimson Eek and his Orcs. In the booth with me is Fymir. Hello! Hello everybody! Here we are to watch one of the favorite players in the cup, the Strength 7 Mummy. <laughs> yeah. Versus a team of Orcs that looks like a team of Orcs. <laughs> I mean, uh, block guard, uh, not as much. The black orcs. Yeah, it's a very light orc team. The, uh, the the undead have a babe and only a babe, and like yeah, there's just block on two of them. Block guard on these two. No guard on this blitzer. Only three blitzers. Like one was missed next game last last round, I think. Um, so yeah, it's pretty weird, isn't it? Obviously, guard on the troll. He's got a goblin. And, uh... Yeah, and then the undead team's like an undead team, but with a strength 7 woman. And a strength 4, uh... Uh, ghoul. Yeah. 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 That's not that remarkable, though, is it? We've all seen strength four ghouls before. Yeah, all over the place. Yeah, the ghouls, you know, you four, strength four, moving. Uh, hey, bah, come on, stop. <laughs> but yeah, it's, there's not a lot. There's not a lot to the orcs. They're pretty bare bones, really, aren't they? They've got a pommer and two mighty blows. The uh, undead have got three mighty blows and a pommer. A couple of ta three tackles, but. No dodge on the orcs, so that doesn't matter. The orcs have got uh, a couple uh, of tackle. Yeah, and a Mr. Throw full of skills. Yeah. It has even kick. Yeah. That's why his team's so bad, isn't it? 76 FPP on him. Instead of like an extra 20 on every blitzer, it would have been a lot better. But there you go. Some people insist on taking Mr. Throw, even though... It's scoring with Mr. Throw. Yeah, he's, he's just terrible. <laughs> a line be... man with a, a line orc with sure hands does exactly the same job. Yeah, yeah, like... I can see the point if you were playing NAF tabletop for some reason, but then I would question why you were playing NAF tabletop with orcs. I guess blitz pit if they got like a good skill package, but then you know just to just to protect against a war dancer. But with a with a with a like a league with progression, I think it's terrible. It's not a slander if it's true, is it, Shangata? <laughs> that uh, action. That mummy might get a might get a rookie rookie lineman to play with, mightn't he? Oh, the other mummy is gonna get the punch. Yeah. You better get a pow because he has to stand firm. Boy howdy. Boy howdy, and now <laughs> and now that mummy have a Control over half your team. <laughs> yeah, a good bit of twat magneting from the uh, from the mummy there. Oh wow, he's not even moving the ball over the right. I thought he'd have moved like everybody over to the right, but especially the ball, just to like limit the impact of the strength seven dude. But he just hasn't. He's just left them three in contact and gone central. Very interesting. No wizard for chicken. <laughs> We're going to let the strength seven mummy just stay there. Chill it. Ah, ah, much better, man. See, I like that more if the if your whole team was over here, right? Your whole team goes over here. You leave him on him. And then next turn you move up there, and then you hopefully leave him on him again, and then all of a sudden it's going to take him ages to get to you. But when you've got when you're this close, it's not it's not great. 
But obviously he still, he still had to do it, otherwise then we would have just blitzed him and been on the ball. I've got no idea who he played round one. No, not Brent being the case, but based on the ball would have been more problematic, wouldn't it, with strength seven, even though he's out of four. Oh, that's a shame. I mean, you probably just punch this guy. You still hold the flank really well, right? So you probably just block him three dice and then smash smash this up on the side. Who's that? The don't pretend you know how to fish guy? That? Oh, it was somebody, uh, somebody who was playing Tom Schnitz. <laughs> and he was hurling abuse, he was hurling abuse at him, some of it worse than others. And then he just randomly said, don't, don't pretend you know how to fish. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> okay, uh, you know, and that's it. Hmm. <clears throat> Got a pile on now, hasn't he? Oh, no, he doesn't. Not with a KO. No need. Very nice uh, KO there. Mm. Why is it one dice? Ah, no, it's two dice, it's two dice, but then the screen only appears one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that catches me out sometimes, too. Watching the games. <laughs> what, the, what the hell? Why did he do it one day and then, oh no, it's just two? Yeah. Three dice, you know. No assist, KO, boom, there you go. <laughs> Glorious strength seven mummy. Glorious damage. strength seven mummy. <laughs> Solving problem. <laughs> Wouldn't have got the knockdown with two dice? Gosh. They would have got the knockdown with block, so block being equal with it so far. Yes, but the mummy doesn't have block. Yeah, but he could, he could have taken block, could he? Yeah. Like, he could have been strength six with block. Which... Yes, true, but then it would be just another strength as mummy with block. Exactly, exactly. I think he made the right decision to make him a legend. <laughs> so two players down for the Orcs is starting to get tricky already, isn't it? Especially because they are uh, going like magnets toward the mummies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are. Okay, you have the block with the troll, you can chain, blah blah. Yeah. Now, now he's going to the side. Oh, I feel he should have gone there last time. He hasn't blitzed anybody either. Oh, so he hasn't blitzed. Oh no, he did, he did, he's already blitzed. I just didn't notice it. So he's got troll hit, then black or kid. But if the troll goes stupid, he's in a bit of trouble. Doesn't go stupid. Now it's the bow. Bosh. No AV right though, he's gonna be straight back up in the front of the cage. Yes. And he could even blitz with the other mummy, couldn't he? <laughs> no, but the mummy can... <laughs> Another one takes the spot. <laughs> and now the... The... Uh, white with Mighty Blow Tackle Guard have an easy hit on the guard stand fan blitz. Yeah. With two dice. Could even get fully round the back if he wanted to. Yep. The goo and probably wants to just hit the pommer in front and pom the pommer. Yeah, that pommer is a, a little exposed. Yeah, I think that's worth it. And like, it's just blunting his drive as well, right? Like it's making the most impact position there, I think. So I would definitely do that.
I don't know why he didn't put the dirty player uh, some in front of the Pomber, blitz with your own Pomber. Yeah, I don't get who he's blitzing. I was blitzing him to get the mummy. I, I don't think that was worth it. I would have just 3 d with a mummy. Like, he's holding the side, right? He's stopping the switch back. I guess it gets him on the two Black Orcs, and that's really good. That's really good, isn't it, getting on these two Black Orcs, to be fair. That is super good. No, except he's just put a zombie there. <laughs> Is he gonna GFI or something? Yeah. Hmm. Bad. <laughs> I don't know. I, I would have really just liked him here, right? If you like, if you've yes. got him there, you're strength seven. You're in front. It's, yes, uh, but now he's in front, uh, taking care of the two uh, black orcs and the troll. Yeah. Yeah, it's not. But bad, now is with it? with the mummy down. The position is much uh, Wigan. He can move him now, though. He can. Uh, he could blitz and chain him over there. Whatever. Getting very complicated for the orcs. Getting a chance to score here. Yeah, yeah, like down two players is bad enough, and then obviously he's got the strength seven there. The mummy, it's looking pretty tough. Wow, 1D. The Randor 1D. I don't know what it is, I'm just ridiculously tired now. You might have to uh, you might uh -huh. have to carry me here if I'm here. Uh, no worries. I think the blitz is going to be with a... Yeah. Oof. Not bad. Yeah, that evens the odds a bit. Feel oh, oh, you shouldn't have done that, pal. Way, oh, we <laughs> that's nice, isn't it? I wonder if he'll uphill the the uh, mummy. I think he should. Like, although you don't want to get hit by the mummy. Only right. because now the mummy is uh, free to hit the block guard the uh, black orc yeah. and base the ball. Yeah. And they will be next to the other uh, mummy. Base the ball. But yeah, with enough in front, that's going to make it pretty tricky. Yes, because uh, the... The undead have more than enough players to create the uh, keep the roadblocks going. Mm. What's he gonna do? There you go. And then he has the other zombie. A free zombie to put somewhere. Yeah. Ooh, big. Ooh, nice armor wreck. Big. Maybe and he should uh, tag, tag this and dodge the pommer back. Because, like, his pommer freed the... Mummy last turn, but now he's stuck there, isn't he? So maybe GF. But he, yes, but he also he puts that zombie on the ball carrier. It's a lot of pressure on the ball carrier. Very good. Because the only chance he will have to run away will be a. Oh, he's failed. Will he reroll? Not that many turns left. Yeah. yeah. I 
wonder if double double E makes me tired. <laughs> I, can, <laughs> I can barely keep my eyes open. Oh, one and nine. Instant one and nine. That was like his first move, wasn't it? And oh, another loner oh, roll. Loner. Yeah, he's made two loner rolls and made them both. Yeah, this is what I said about the, the what's it called, right? I want to, I want to dodge him to here because there's a game in all now. And there yes. it is. Now the last, yes, as the last action of the time, I dodge with the bomber because that line arc, okay. Not a big deal. Like he's got edge four. He's just going to dodge away anyway. So I, I just didn't think this was relevant. I think go there to hold him and then dodge back up here, or even maybe just go in there and then try that dodge anyway. Wow! 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 I mean, yes, he can dodge anyway, but he has to dodge. And there is a lot of pieces in the on the way. Yeah. This is tough, isn't it? You can't. He doesn't want to have to dodge with the other one before he dodges with the. Like he doesn't want to have to dodge. With, yeah, yeah. He doesn't want to have to dodge with the blitzer before he dodges with the thrower. But then if he doesn't, then he makes the thrower dodges harder. Maybe he's just do the thrower first. One, two, three, four, five, GFI, and then you can go one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. I guess that's what you do. But this is not a safe cage, is it? Based as it is right. by him. Bring for a piece. Yeah, I think he shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but I guess he's down, man. It's a stone and it's tricky, isn't it? Oh, you can 1D him. Oh, okay, that works even better, probably. Are you sure that's the square you want to be? <laughs> Yeah, it's tough, isn't it? It's tough because he like he's got to try and protect it, the cage from the ghoul. But then there's also the ball. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh no. Actually, quite preferred it, leaving him where he was then. <laughs> but then the this ghoul, the the white can get him, so he's got to one day the white as well. Yes, and well, putting tackle on the strength for ghoul is good. Yes. But now the ghoul has a three plus for two dice on the ball with the, you know. Yeah. Oh, another GFI. Yeah, he had to one day the way I think. There's also like a ghoul right there as well, isn't there? A rackle ghoul. It's a 2 plus to 1D the ball at the moment. Well, uh, yes. A plus, uh, 2 plus for 1D, 3 plus for uh, 2D. Yeah. If you wait as long as possible, you recharge your dice. Oh dear. How old Lou Bubba Lou? Uh, string seven, couldn't he? But I guess he already thought it was too late to have any impact. Breathe the zombie, Skantage. Yeah. She's coming with a white. Yeah. Got POM as well, hasn't he? So it's like added value. Uh, 
as good as Nice Another strength for Ghoul can go for recover with sure hands, yes. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna punch. He's literally gonna punch. This is strength 4. <laughs> it's too decent. Uh, Hello, HDK. I'm not sure that was right, but maybe, right? It stops the support getting to protect Mr. Throw, so. But he has two dice, two dice on the ghoul, because the blitzer has guard, you know, hit with the yep. black orc. Yeah, I, I don't like it, but I think that was his idea. But yeah, he can, he can score on the edge four this turn, can't he? I think that's what he might do. He has a very easy recovery of the ball with the with Mister Throw, just two plus uh, two plus. Yeah, but it's protecting well, him, isn't it? That's the problem. With Mr. Throw, it's protecting him. So so the, the ghoul hit helped for protecting, like stopping Mr. Throw being protected. But, um... I think it was... It, was, it wasn't... It was It was good. It, like, you know what I mean? It gives him a chance to st stop him next turn doing this, but... Maybe he just shouldn't have bothered. <laughs> wow, well, he's doing these blocks all wrong. And that was in it, yes. That was the grown square with the black orc who so pushes him uh, in front of the black, the other black orc and the other black orc. So you know to free the IG4. Yeah, really weird. Really weird that he hasn't freed the IG4 because I would definitely be just going on Because like, how do you stall it? How do you stall it with Mr. Throw? Answers on a postcard. Ah, he's gone the space cadet tactic. Fair enough. Works versus me. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> wow <laughs> wow so is that free uh, to the on the ball yeah because the white one of the whites is free and the rackler is free too yeah yeah that's a free to the on the ball Who can say if it's good or bad? This this was the thing. Like this is all you can do. That that block by the ghoul means this is all you could do. I like I like I did like that in terms of next turn. But the problem that's what if I was him I would have just tried to score the edge four because otherwise, this is your plan. Yeah. He had a good chance with the edge four if you could have moved away the black orc. Yeah. I mean he still has reroll so. Russia. Maybe he didn't want to give the undead to town. Yeah, maybe not, but I think it comes a time where you've got to try. Unbelievable result there. Two dice on the ball. Yeah, with wrestle. Glorious. No, I won't give in until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I and will now defend. And now they stand for us a very easy... Uh, Who can say how many beavers one man recovery. needs? Yeah. Oh god. Prankster Bank subscribed for 33 months. Jesus, Boy, that's hard. a lot of beavers. It is, isn't it? Thank you very much, Prankster Bank. Absolutely glorious. Eight whole beaver pregnancies, isn't it? Yes. And an extra month, he has to take a rest. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 one in nine! Not dead. Once again, the tactic of uh, trapping for one in nines works. <laughs> Diced. Okay, so... One, two, three, four. Can't score. So he's got to get him in. And then just run through and pass to him. Easy. <laughs> Easy. 
being bent down is very, very difficult. The orcs. You could 1D with a blitzer, I guess. And run to the. Yes. Rolls a skull, rolls a pal, flip me, guys. Oh, and now it's a quick path for the score. Yeah. You need to. Uh, there you go. Go GFI, and now 3 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus. I wonder if just passing in the tackle zone is better because of the team reroll. Oh, well, it doesn't, get the <laughs> it doesn't get the chance anyway. Oh, hey. Yeah, it would have been better. It would have been better just passing there. I think. I don't know. Maybe not. I'd have to samber it. Yeah, passing from there was a three plus with a reroll. So. <sighs> Mr. Throw. <laughs> he tried. He tried, didn't he? And now Black Cork is gonna get the bomb. He's not. Oh, he's he was going Mr. for the bomb, or the bomb, Mr. Throw. Got him. There you go. Ooh, huge we, cards. We all knew this was going to happen. MNG and <laughs> the apple works. Apple <laughs> he, works. He apples and miss next on Mr. Throw. This guy loves his 50%. <laughs> Oh, oh. Both down, the take the both down, take the both down. Yeah, both down on no balls. Come on, where are you playing at? Ah, uh, that was a uh, lost the chance to establish dominance there. <laughs> Well, also the pass. No, he needed to do. He couldn't do the pass because he's uh, very sunny. So it was a uh, four plus. So yeah, he, he was better odds. Nearly sure to do the dodge. Oh, I didn't even see that. I didn't even see that. To be fair. Yeah, that probably that probably tilts it into the into the dodge. Oh my god. Oh, both both orcs back. So he's still got 11 for the time being, but a successful stop from Chigand. I do think Crimson Eek should have gone for that blitzer score. And, uh, yes, and having a strength for the ball carrier makes things blotch, block carrier makes things a little easier for the undead. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay, isn't it? Okay, move seven four four. Oh, is it seven four three seven? Isn't it? Yeah, seven four three seven. That's pretty good. Not as good as eight five four seven, but you know. <laughs> 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 okay, what do you do here? He wants me. I'll put the mummy to blitz the troll. Chain pulls and just stay next to uh, the, <laughs> all the orc team. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting the other mommy next to it. The, the problem is, if you get on too many people, it can get overwhelmed, so... Yes, that's why, you know, use the other mommy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know from a tactical point of view, you know, how good it is. Probably not very good, but as a absolutely expect, uh, show, beautiful to watch. Yeah. I'm going to save the Ashbow God. I don't know. Save the wasn't watching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really struggling to keep my eyes open right now. Like, the game was over, wasn't it? It's like the half was over, he couldn't score. So, 
Mm. Or maybe, maybe if it's a scoring threat, maybe it's worth trying to get the scoring threat. You know, maybe it's worth trying to score if you can score. If you've got a scoring threat, it's probably worth trying to score, isn't it? Oh. Comes the kick. I don't like coffee. It also doesn't seem to do anything to me. I had this thing on the internet where I think Squirrel mentioned it, like all the young people were doing like whipped coffee or something. I think that's what it was, and I tried it and it just didn't do anything. I like tea. Yes, yeah, so we've just gone boring LOS mummies. Yeah, it's boring LOS mummies. No maximizing the but well he's gonna he's going to 3D the black orc, so there is that. Yeah, yeah that's okay, isn't it? <laughs> that's okay, you said the mummy. Oh wow. Wow see being strength seven gives you an extra mighty blow. <laughs> yeah. Making makes perfect sense. If something strength seven hits you, it destroys you. <laughs> Bring the stew coffee to me, glorious. Yeah, oh, Dadel Quist with the raid. Thanks, Dadel Quist. Oh, glorious. Oswin yeah. the day. <laughs> Fuck's sake, chum. You'd know all about it, wouldn't you, bloody Mahjong player? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <dear>. Sorry, Chucks. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chucks. Strength 7 should be Mighty Blow plus 2, shouldn't it? Imagine if you could just level Mighty Blow plus 2, like you just take Mighty Blow again and you get Mighty Blow plus 2. It would dominate the game, wouldn't it? In the, in the first edition of Blood Bowl, you could level Tackle and Dodge. Yeah, 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 it was completely different than today. But yeah, you can well, level Mighty was, Blow as well. Mighty it Blow was an absolute four. nightmare. It's an absolute nightmare of a game. I have the books, yeah. got them uh, ages ago, and I uh, got a read on to them, and it was like absolutely impossible to play uh, any kind of league or anything with the rules because everybody was dying all the time. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was completely mental. <laughs> you, could, you could hire an assassin. Yeah. <laughs> a dirty player role on any player of the other team before the game started. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so once you had a good team, you just had to buy loads of spies to stop assassins <laughs> just slaughtering your team. <laughs> oh, dear. Proper stupid. Oh. Oh. He cast himself. Cast himself. Oh no, he didn't. No, I cast the mummy. Oh, Absolute he legend. The mummy. It it said Grocknock or whatever was cast, yes. didn't it? But and it the screen wrong. of the injury was the orc uh, scream. Yeah, yeah, but it was totally wrong. Wow. So the both down on no balls. The valiant lineman. <laughs> <laughs> Remove the strength Dice seven. in the strength seven, mummy. Wow, that's massive for the drive. Glorious. Instant MVP for <laughs> that orc. Yeah. Dewey. Dewey the champ. <laughs> Do you mean the Among Us, Timmy? Or like blood, some Blood Bowl? <laughs> no, Sat 75. The both down was good because it ended the turn of the Orcs. Yeah. 
And the chances of uh, the mummy getting cast were minimal. Yeah. Look, do you know what? Do you know what? The uh, the Among Us was amazing. The Among Us was amazing because <laughs> I I saw Pepper Biscuit doing tasks on cans, and then I I said to everybody in the first meeting, I think it's Pepper Biscuit because I saw him doing even him doing tasks on cans, and it was Pepper Biscuit. <laughs> Because he was doing, he was doing tasks on his own on cams, and that just made me think it was him. <laughs> Absolutely called it. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I said it wasn't me, it was him. <laughs> was it to me? I didn't even know. <laughs> no, <it's... sighs> it was a, it was fun, fun times, very fun times among us. I'd like to play it now, but I'm too tired. I'm just gonna have to get through the rest of this game somehow. Whew. That was a huge remove, wasn't it? Like as much as he got his own, he's got his black oak remove the first turn. The fact that he's He's more than even the odds, hasn't he, with that, uh... Yeah, no, that mummy is the seven mummy. A nine as well as this guy, so they're down to nine, the, uh... Yeah, down to nine, the, uh, undead. So looking real bad for the undead all of a sudden. Yeah, that was insane, wasn't it, Steve? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Nick was amazing. Yes, Dado, yeah. That was something. <laughs> Good day, Nick, just wandering around and standing on vents. <laughs> it was like, someone's like, I saw you standing on a vent, Nick. Did you have the clean vent task? And he's like, no, I was just standing on a vent. <laughs> Wandering around to like random rooms and stuff. Does he? Does he go up here? He could do. I, I think it's the. I think it's one of the few chances he has because what else? Yeah. <laughs> you can't blame anybody though, red hair, for that. <laughs> You know, Kadenik, the Australian who plays for North America, famously very trustworthy. <laughs> it's Kadenik that uh, lives in the 3 a.m. time zone. <laughs> oh, he has a plane which always keeps flying, keep him at 3 a.m. <laughs> this is top time. Yep. <laughs> he's, got, he's got an outlet, but it's only just in scoring range, isn't it? At the, if I was the undead, I would think about just scoring, like, you know, as soon as I can and just score. Yes, because that puts all the pressure on the orcs. Also, things are going to only get worse for the undead. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah, that was amazing, wasn't it? The random EQs and then both both imposters voted for them. That was a great game. There were some great games of Among Us, yeah. Um... <laughs> yes, Tom Schnitz. Yeah, I like I like Gadini as well, Paul Nass is just just bouncing it. And yeah, get the mummy back on the field, yeah, scroll, yeah. Like obviously it's it's obviously shit to like to score early, but I just think I feel like it's bad, right? It's he's down the strength seven. His mummy's the mummy that's left is getting dominated pretty badly. It's like is he gonna be able to get the score at all? So I would have I would have tried to push down and and get the score at all, rather than just lose. I mean, right now he has a 1D on the ball with the Black Orb. Yeah. Yeah, just for free. <laughs> uh. 
Does the uh, troll have stand firm? Uh, mummy, even yeah. If the if that didn't have stand firm, he could have tried to get a guy in there and then chain the troll on and then hit the troll and then they could have got two D. But that was uh, obviously not the case. He he does not have that. He's not going the one D. He the bomber. I don't know where the blit is coming. Oh, stupid. Oh, yeah, maybe the bomber, yeah. I'd rather keep him back, though, you know. Keep him back. Back, back. Bit of a pickle. Here is the blitz. GFI is it? Woo! Gotta re-roll that, yeah. Yeah, you really had to re-roll that. That was that was pretty bad. It's gotta go into this like little pocket, I guess. God, it's so rough, isn't it? Like it's so fucking rough. Maybe he just dodges out, runs there, hands off in a tackle zone, then blitzes. But oh no, he's got to stand firm, so we can't even do that. God, it's so horrible. Oh well, Whoa. That was okay. The hero of the match <laughs> leaves the pitch. Yep. After another mummy hit, he only could endure two of them. <laughs> I guess he's got to go around this end somehow, but it's like proper shit. I wonder if he could have cut all the corners. I wonder if he could have stood him up there. And he could have like gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then punched him. Might have been an idea. No, Paul Mars, I did not. Yeah, I think they should have gone last turn. I think they should have gone last turn. And, and, and yeah, okay, they don't want to score early, but they want to score. <laughs> and it's it's getting, and you know, like, you've got to be able to identify when the game's slipping away, haven't you? And, and I think he should have identified how desperate the situation was. Reacted a bit more strongly. Oh, now you can just uh, put this ghoul down with a tackler, right? It might yeah. go tackle and rotate the pommer around and be quite happy. Should we move the pommer first? Yeah, just literally whenever I could, Saturday. I would have thought, like, literally two turns ago, I thought the situation was that bad. I would have taken a score on any any turn at all. Yeah, but he's already he's already won in nine twice with the troll, hasn't he, Squirrel Dude? So I guess I guess that's mentally uh, <laughs> mentally affected him a bit there. Just made him a bit more com. A bit more conservative.
Looks like this was just enough, wasn't it? Unless he's gonna, he can't really reroll, but he almost kind of had to. So does he, does he just run diagonally through now? Put the zombie here, 2D him. Blitz him with a ghoul, keep running, and then just like screen. And he's also got the dodge out here as well, hasn't he? Yeah, he has the dodge there, he has the ghouls. He managed to take away the black orc, and then build the bomber, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, I think that's the play. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, something like that, and then, then get like... One, two, three, four players around him. Yeah. You, yeah, you could take a one D, but the problem is, if it doesn't work, then it it costs you a player, right? Because it costs you the player you're freeing, doesn't it? Because you're freeing the zombie. So, and this guy's really fucking slow anyway. So I think you make it two D, undisputably. I guess the question is, if you just don't blitz him and and then like, you could blitz with him and pull him up, wasn't that? Doesn't seem very good. You could blitz this guy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then like GFI and then sideline cage is an option, I guess. Wow, that was dumb. No, oh, that wasn't the right play, it was with the white. <laughs> I did not like that. And now he's blitzed with a white. He should not pretend to know how to fish for a power. I think that was very greedy. I guess he can stay here another turn, I guess. But I, again, I would have just been trying to desperately score. I think the situation is pretty desperate. So he should have tried to score, but he's just, he's really trying to stall it. So I guess that's what you're trying to do. It's got a bigger payoff, hasn't it? But it's, it's more risky. I mean, this is a really strong position now. Like, it was good. It was a good turn, to be fair. It was a, to be fair, it's a good turn, but I still think it was wrong. <laughs> Which, you know, you can't just judge things on whether they work or not, can you? Because he's still got to get that penetration later, and he's still got to score at some point. Yeah. And now he's going to get this. You know, now he's going to get this uh, ghoul pond and. He's still not got forward, so... <laughs> yes, maybe Shambatat, maybe, yes. It's just risky, isn't it? It's just high risk, high reward. The thing is, it's just high risk, high reward because you know, obviously, if you score on turn sixteen, you win, and if you score on twelve, then you might you might draw and go to overtime. But at least you've scored. <laughs> got to cover this area, hasn't he? This area of the pitch is the uh, scary area. <laughs> scary area. Scary. Nice. Good GFI with him. I don't... I hate that move. Hate that move. I would have kept him more central. Scary. 
scurry area. Scurry. Who, who was that? Uh, it's a English comedian. From Yorkshire, probably, isn't he? Scurry area. Who, who is he? <laughs> Peter Kay's mate. Paddy McGuinness. Boy, howdy. That is no regen. And what a block that was. Boy, howdy. That's free a lot of uh, orc players. <laughs> yeah. Now I guess this is the one that you can blitz and go down. Uh, obviously stand firm. Yuck. You could put the guard in there and blitz through with a ball. And I'd get one player out behind him. It might be enough because the tackler's over there. Problem is there is two, four, six, seven, and the, the players on the pitch. Yeah, yeah, it's very, it's, it's very tough now. Yeah. Yeah, the wrestle could blitz him. I guess the wrestle could blitz him. I don't like this because it's stopping where he wants to go. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven is where he'd want to go. Get further forward. It's just all. It's all falling apart for him here, isn't it? That's the smell like extra time. Yep, and he's got to re-roll that, otherwise he could lose in normal time. Oh, he might still do it. He's just about alive still, but I really hated this move over here. I just didn't. I thought it was completely unnecessary. This was the only way he could really go. You know, it's, it's where he had his responsive players. If this guy, you know, remains central, then you're pumping a ghoul this time yeah. and jamming in up here as well. That was investing too much on that side. Yeah. You still have the idea for a uh, tackle mighty blow piece, right? Yeah. Maybe he wanted to have one tackler in our side of the pitch. Yeah, maybe, maybe. But I still think having him central is good enough. Yeah, it was good enough. With movement six, he could go any of the sides. Yeah. And yeah, he still gets to pump. He still gets to mighty blow. <laughs> it is a little bit light up here. I think I'm going around to Jim's view this might be going badly, yeah. 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 It was about turn 10, wasn't it? As soon as the strength 7's mummy went down, it, it was starting to go badly. And that's when I would have happily taken the score at any point. But, you know, maybe Sheegan will get to stall it out here. Get the win. Maybe he can. I don't know how. It's gonna be a potato oh, uh, size. Yeah, he can score. He just needs the pusher of power and then some twos. Yeah. Yeah, because he, he hasn't got enough over there, has he? So yeah. I guess you've got to. Uh, I guess you've got to dodge this. Uh, I guess you've got to dodge this black hole. He can dodge the. The stand firm, a blitzer. Yeah, he could. He could just try and put him like there or something. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Maybe he's dodged the stand firm blitzer there. Yeah, because this is just too easy to to yes. score. And he he's definitely going to score this turn. So Crimson Ink should have recognised that. And either dodge with the black oak or the blitzer. Oh, he's uphilling him! Oh, sick! Sick uphill! Sick uphill! <laughs> Hello, PC. It's fine, but you know, the undead have got the the undead have got the strength seven, haven't they? 
So he's got to try and just just fish for the pow. And if it doesn't work, then go for the four plus two uh, D, maybe three plus double GFI. Mighty blow hit first? No. Gets the pow. Look a dog. Do the pointless block. Why not? <laughs> oh, no, uh, useless. <laughs> and here we go. Ooh, he's got to re roll that. Got to re roll it because he's dodging yes. through tackle. Only the push, three two two without any re-rolls. I can just not fall. I can smell the tragedy. He's done it, he's done it, he's done it, he's done it. He's done it. Oh! I knew it. In the crowd. I wonder if you could have just like gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and just stood there, but I mean strength four, but probably not. No, it was too much back and he had nothing. He was too many orcs, angry orcs around. Yeah, he had nothing. Right, double GFI from this lad. Let's go. See, that is the Mr. Throw Pass uh, play here to the Black Orc. Yep. No risk, is it? Get the GFIs in. Yes, because there is no undead that can score. Yep. Yep. Absolutely, first action should be double GFI here. We're talking about first action, pick up the ball and pass to the black or I would, I would get him as the uh, as the scoring threat first, then pass to him next. Time. But I guess you could just pass to him. You have, you've got to take this guy out first, then haven't you? One, two, three, four, five. GFI, GFI. It's impossible to fail having an IG for Mister Throw. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you just maybe you just pass to him straight away, and then and then you can reroll the GFIs, maybe to win. So yeah, Bro. do the pass first. And then do the reroll the GFIs potentially. I mean, you have absolutely nothing to lose one way or the other, so. Yeah. Oh. There, there comes the mad lad. Let's go. Let's go, Sunny. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Extra throw. <laughs> Dead. Yeah, no rerolls here. But then, if you get it, you can reroll the GFIs, can't you? Don't, don't GFI. Just fucking lob it. Don't, don't risk. <laughs> The risk, Mister Throw. Oh no, no, I, I, no! I hate this now. At first, I liked doing the GFIs and just not rolling them, but then I thought, just do the pass. Oh no, no, no! Fuck off, man! How, you cannot re-roll it, not without the ball. Like, do the pass and then see if you get the ball right. And yes. then if you get the ball, then you can re-roll it. You can't, you can't speculative. G, like, either speculative yes. GFI and don't re-roll. If, if you GFI you, is to yeah. score, not to you know saying maybe this. Uh... <laughs> Pass to a black cork will work. Yeah, that was that was pretty bonkers. You try the the, the, the stupid play first, and if it works, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was pretty bonkers. Holy moly! That's <laughs> got to stand even. Will have died. Yeah, exactly, squirrel. Yeah, you you either do the pass first, and then you can reroll the GFIs, or you run running without the GFIs. One of one of the two, definitely not that. <laughs> definitely not that way. Yeah, no, I like it. The pass first because you say, okay, I'm not gonna reroll the catch or anything. Just see if this works. All right. Yeah. And then if uh, the magic happens, you say, okay, now. I have to invest here the rolls because it's a winning play. Yeah.
Yeah, yeah. If if you if you'd made both GFIs without re-rolling, then next turn you could have re-rolled the catch to uh, to score. So that it 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 it's kind of probably gives you more chance overall because you've got the you haven't got the re-rolls on the GFIs, but you've got the re-roll on the catch. So I don't know. Dead to know. Three are KO'd. The mummy comes back. Oof, only one KO comes back. And the black oak comes back. The undead win the toss. So there's a chance. Maybe this time he'll realise he's only got nine players and he should probably try to score. Hey! <laughs> only joking, just a just a bit of fun. Goblin with cats on the beach. Boy, howdy. Glorious gobble. Only down a line off. He's, he's down two players, isn't he? Uh, she a gun here, and it's a ghoul and a mummy. So a mummy, pretty yes. Big, pretty big players to be down, to be honest. Ha half of the team are skilled some. Yeah. But the strength seven mummy is back. Yeah. Yeah. Gives him a chance. Now, now he's got to just try and punch through and score quickly, hasn't he? Because now he knows. Now surely he realizes that this is a horrible situation, <laughs> and he has to do everything he can to. Well, uh, yes, also it's more. extra. It's uh, overtime, so you're not trying to stall down twenty-four. So it's a little crazy. Yes, yeah. But you could still, like, if you had a good team, you could, like, push and pull and look for a weakness and everything, can't you? You know, but, like, he just can't. He's just got to go for it and hope for the best. And I think the best is the right side. Yeah, yeah, maybe. He's a bit stronger, but you've got a, you've got a fucking mummy. And then he hasn't got Stan Firm, yeah. And no... I guess there's no pom, but then there's this edge is good, isn't it? Yes, but the, 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 but is there oh. is a troll that can fuck up every time. You have the goblin that is not as dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, I like this. Not in most universes. If there's a blitz here, it could be right dead. Second. I think it's right to completely ignore the possibility of a blitz. He shouldn't have this guy here, because like if he gets blitzed on he's lost, right? So there's no need for him to be tagging him. He could just start over here. No, well no, he's gonna do that. I think it was much better to uh, just, you know, if I get blitzed on I lose and go for this blitz and try to push down. Yeah, I don't like. I don't like it. So he hasn't. He's not trying. He's still just trying to do a normal offense, which I think is a little bit crazy. I think it's a little bit. Oh, he's got kick. Okay, that makes it a bit harder, I guess. And another high kick. Seven high kick uh, for the undead nullifying. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so to be fair, the kick the kick made it harder to do the quick break. To be fair. He gets to 3D with a mummy again, <laughs> which is hilarious, isn't it? And to be fair, the Orcs gave him chances there, so I guess maybe he'll be confident that they'll give him another chance. It's pretty great, isn't it, that the mummy gets three dice against Black Ox? <laughs> Is it busy?
<sighs> it depends what you mean, Chambata. If you mean like uh, the most difficult possible necessary score, or like just possible moves when scoring, because you could just make loads of sitless dodges, couldn't you, for fun? Didn't affect anything. Um, I mean, it's a factor. That, like, obviously, a strength five stand firm is horrendous. <laughs> but if he goes one in six times, it's good. Depends how desperate you think the situation is. Oof, pro. Pro getting the pow. Yeah, and you've got, you have got a lot of shitty zombies to carry. Yeah, and he's also easy to leave the side, yeah, so it's, it's funny, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, the was uh, attackable by the mummy or uh, one zombie, yeah. and that's it. Yeah. That's why I say the right side was my favorite side. Yeah, it's interesting. I would uh, I would choose to... The side I would choose would be the uh, Ruzi side. <laughs> Yeah, well, that pump with the blister on a zombie, I don't get the... Yeah, exactly, Skrull, that seems excessive. Not this time, boy! Oh, Not boy. this time! And that, that, that is a terrible block, isn't it? Because now, he's got a 2D, and then he's got a blitz, and then he's got a screen behind him. Wow! Just handed the game to Chigan. And what do you achieve with those red dice? Oh, get, look at oh. dog. Look if you get dog. pushes, it doesn't matter. So you are aiming for the one in nine and getting the mummy down. Yeah, I mean, he got, he got really lucky that not only did he not go down, I also pushed him the wrong square, in my opinion. Um, yes. But, I mean, he's still going to get through, isn't he? Yeah, it's Eek, not Ek. <laughs> armor break with Mighty Blow because it's Armor 8. Yeah. I would have not followed and then tagged No, him. not follow. You tag the IG4. Yeah. yeah, he went the very greedy way rather than the wrestle hit, yeah. Yeah. I guess you can just go there and then screen him, right? But then you don't really want to do a GFI, do you? But he's going to do the GFI. Boy, howdy. Big boy GFI. This is maybe the right play, to be fair. Oh, okay, he's going there because of these guys all being shit and he piled on for no fucking reason. What a horrendous pile on that was, wasn't it? Yeah, okay, that's better because then it's harder for him to get there. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. Lob him for the assist. But yeah, if he hadn't piled there, punch him, punch him. Bob's your uncle. Oh, I think he shouldn't even have follow with what was the point yeah. of following the for the yeah. on? Ah. No, squirrel, squirrel, squirrel was completely right. By kind of, I mean, you know, you realise that's a fucking zombie, right? <laughs> yeah, that was really weird. Yeah. But he can get them. He can get the. He can punch him and get him in. Kind of. I'd throw the gobble first. Because you could actually hit the ball as well, right? You could actually just hit the goo with the, with the. I would definitely try and throw the gobble, like there or something. And then you might just hit. You might just hit the goblin straight away. 
hit the gov and hit the ghoul straight away. That'd be amazing, wouldn't it? What a play that would be. Throwing uh, goblins around. Always a good option. Yes, Dave, we yeah. Yeah, Randor Blow. I would, have, I would have definitely done the gobble first and then just see what happened. Those random blocks are to calm the nerves, you know, you make the <laughs> things so you can fall. Okay, okay, now, you know, take a breath, take a breath. Yeah, but he didn't even count that, like, he didn't even use the full 15 seconds, right? If if it had been a proper one of them, he could have taken an extra 30 seconds on the push direction and the follow and then... But well, people don't, they just kind of brainlessly do it and then they're like, whoops, <laughs> I haven't even used the time to think. People are scared of making the big play. Yeah, yeah, you can knock the white down. I've, I think that was a fine play to just to just lob it like you know there or there, and then see what happened. Because you you couldn't you couldn't turn over, could you? So you might as well see. Whereas now it's uh, okay. Two GFIs. And he's going to GFI with a black orc, I guess. And one, two, three, four, five, six, three, five, two. What's he doing? What is. What's he. What? Okay. I don't like that. I think there was a lot of rolls there. I'm, I much preferred coming a, a, around on twos, but you know, if you want to come around on threes and twos, then uh, fair enough. <laughs> Yeah. If it works, it works, and therefore was the best play. You know, and now the orc coach will start thinking about maybe getting up that black orc and the lineman that's been lying on the ground. <laughs> yep. All the Could time, be. you know. <laughs> you can put, you can put him in. He can just dodge with the black orc and pick it up. I quite like that because otherwise. In fact, he could have done one GFI to tag the white, and the goblin shouldn't have need to do the two GFIs. Yeah, yeah. That is a strength seven for me. Yeah, I quite like just tagging him and then go for four plus dodge because otherwise they're just he's just going to punch you and then and then pick it up again, isn't he? They're probably winning, yeah, it's looking real, real tough for the, uh... It is looking really tough. Because there's no rerolls either side. <laughs> so... Big, big boy, one in nine with a mummy now. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough, isn't it? Like, it is tough, to be fair, now, that rerolls. 1D this guy, and then pick it up and run down. Mm -hmm. Like, it's still pretty easy to, for this to end up pretty well for them, right? It's just a 3 plus with no reroll down here. 3 plus to get him out, 3 plus to get him out. Like, you can get pretty decent cover. Oh, yeah, you can just blitz with him. Oh, like, yeah, of course. Beautiful, beautiful blitz, obviously. <laughs> no, PC, I'm tired. <laughs> Yeah, so you can dodge this, get get some cover around there, and then dodge this and get some cover around there, and you might be all right. Yeah, but yes, the the the, zom the zombie pylon was horrendous. Move that ghoul one more square. He can't. He's he's tagged now, isn't he? But yeah, I would have had him there. Fails that dodge. But there's no rerolls for the orcs, right? So the orcs could, uh. The orcs can fail anything now. Oh, yeah, no, this is good, right? Because it stops it stops this guy just two pussing away. He was there. I guess there would have been good too. Yeah, it's just 3 2. Yeah, there, there would have been good too. Either way, he's good. In fact, maybe better because now the gobble could hit him and then he could do it as well. But it's tricky, isn't it? Like a strength four blodger is pretty good when there's no rerolls on the opposing team. <laughs> well, it's always pretty good, but do you know what I mean? It gets even better. Yeah, getting tap on the gobble is good.
Pile on! <laughs> no, boo! Doesn't pile. Boo! <laughs> we finally freeze him. Turn 19. Well, this is a really strong position now. If only it happened when the ball wasn't in the scoring range. <laughs> <laughs> Does he take the conservative line of blitzing the white and then standing in the way of the goo? Maybe he has to. Does take the conservative route. Without a re-roll, I think that's what most people would do. But whether it's right or not, maybe not, right? The goblin behind the black orc, I think. You obviously don't want this guy to, to blitz and score. <laughs> so. <laughs> Pommer face, yeah. No, it's not Baby Shark, it's. it's Pommer face. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, it's Pommer face. <laughs> Gonna run out of time. Yeah, okay. Yes. Do you just one day score here? Yes, I think the one day score is the way to go. You can stand these two up, blitz him, and then go nowhere really. You could you could dodge on a three plus there, so the failure state isn't so bad, and then blitz him with wrestle. That's probably maybe he's the better play, isn't it? Oh no, he knows his strength for him, so so maybe just dodge there, and then you've got the two D. So you've got like a less bad fail state if you if you dodge him off. That's maybe the play. That's a three plus without re rolls. Meanwhile, the blitz is yeah, it's another three plus. Yeah, but at least you don't well, lose the ball. Well, it's a 2 plus because the bot down doesn't uh, end your turn. Yeah, then you just do fuck all. Like, you're fucked. If you, then you've got to dodge up, out the back somehow, and it's just it's all looking terrible, isn't it? So, I think seeing as you actually basically have to get a push on him, it's basically the same, except a one on here doesn't lose you the match. Yes, but a, a one on here loses you the match. That's the thing, isn't it? And this this almost loses you the match. There's not in there's not much in it. There's not much in it, to be fair. Like you're pretty much losing whichever way you fail. So maybe you just do the one D. There's not much in the failure states. If you fail now you're probably gonna lose. Yeah, both down you could you could go five three or four four three. But You could just stand back, but I mean, these two are going to get you here. Like, he's got too many players free. Yes, that goal is going to be two dice that we tackle next time, whatever happened. Yeah. I guess you could go so, like one, two, three, four, five, and then hit him, right? 
You could try that, hit the gob, blitz the gob, dodge, blitz the gobbo, hit him, and then you might be far away from him that you can't get. So you could call one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI. No, oh, he gets the ball down. <gasps> now, yeah, four plus three, four plus dodge. He's popped dodge, he's filled. <laughs> gobbo nearly got the ball. What a battle. Was that the 5 plus the best option? I would go for the sideline. I don't know. I don't know. Five three better. There you go. Now the IG4 can uh, pick up the ball and probably hand off to one of the blitzers down. Even with a reroll, the four four three is worse. That's interesting, isn't it? You think with more more dice it would be. Uh... I mean, I think you probably want the ball to scatter out in a way because he's got the edge four right there, hasn't he? But well, the problem is, if you fail, you're basically just losing whatever happens. Like, really, if you'd fail this 3 plus dodge, he's, he's lost. The, the failure state isn't really a consideration. Lazy cage, because he could have had one there, one there, one there, and then he couldn't be served. At the moment, he could be on ridiculous dice. Uh, the commentary, if you mean in commentary, Fymir, he is indeed, yes. yes true. I'm a Spanish indeed. <laughs> Go watch Palmer first. In the meantime, the, the troll been stuck there all the hell by a zombie. Yeah, yeah, he hasn't been able to. He hasn't had a helper, has he? So he's just had to stand there like a dickhead. Well, now he gets to the zombie six plus dodging in one day, doesn't he? Oh, uphill, sorry. If he wants it. Or he could try and do something more sensible. You can 2D the black orc, then blitz the gobo. Yeah, get get his get his like you know, make this hit, get the uh, thingy back. Somewhat relevant. He could blitz the stand firm or whatever if he wanted. Could blitz him and get the mummy in. You could just make two blocks and not do anything and completely feel terrible. <laughs> he is not. He is I'm not. I'm Spanish. I uh, Egyptian like uh, the guy uh, Sean Connery in uh, Highlander. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, guys. Let's do this. Just need to do a few rocks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he does the dungeon for the one day. He gets that pow! Oh my god. Big balls plays. And the scar in the crowd. Oh, but he's got this guy downfield. <laughs> Imagine if he'd got it in this way or this way, he'd have been laughing. But he got the nightmare throwing direction. That was incredible. Yep, he's got the zombie dodge pickup. He's on. Oh, he's got he's, he's got this one as well. Look, nice. Yep, gets the zombie dodge out. Like you've got to try it, haven't you? Yes, yes, you have to do it. <sighs> Doesn't go for the pickup. I think I would like the pickup. You know, it's obviously fifty percent of the time you get it, and then five times out of it, it's in two tackle zones. So. You basically, like, 
what, 10 out of 16, like, 13 out of 16, it's it's still in two tackle zones. With the added bonus of you might have the ball, so I think you'd definitely go for the pickup. Pickup definitely right. Now you can uh, dodge the gobo to get the two dice on the zombie with the bomber. Mm. Or you can start with one D to serve the ghoul. Or even make it to D. And if you're a fan of Sean Connery, here is the Sean Connery the musical. Very good. Very good. Uh, thing. Yeah, he should have definitely picked it up. Like, just because it means he's got to knock you down to get it is, like, is worth it by itself. Sadly not, no. Yeah, just do the surf there. Gets you the goblin yeah. free, doesn't it? Yes. Like, okay, you'd rather have this X4 involved, but it lets it gives you the goblin clear to, to get this guy involved. <laughs> yeah, Steve <Steven. laughs> McLean. <laughs> Are you saying Arsenal? <laughs> Shooting the zombie cool. and then pick up the ball, you have pro, maybe it works. Yeah, maybe. Oh, I mean, there are not many other options anyway, so... No. There's still a lot to it. No, he's going around the... He's, he's hitting him, going around the backside. That is a bit dodgy, but uh, he is the edge three, so that makes sense, doesn't it? To be fair. TBH. But then Don't that... pile on. Yeah, don't pile up. <laughs> but this is like just a 2D tackle hit on the gobble now and then a 2 hit on him and it's another turn of delaying, isn't it? Boy, howdy. <laughs> PC. Like there is a free zombie, so it can be uh, two dice on the bomber. Oh, baby. And then go for the pickup. Glorious pickle. It is looking pretty drawish, yeah. There's yes, if he can, if he can, now he has two dice with a zombie on the bullets. He gets a pow. Then bullets uh, from the floor. Uh, the goblin and can pick up the ball. Yeah. And after that, I don't know. I don't know because there is barely any players of any team on the pitch left. <laughs> the problem is that by this is a, you maybe just to play it safe, right? Maybe you just blitz with it. Oh my god, okay, you do that. Maybe you just blitz first, so you've got like more people around the ball, you know. I like this. This is safer. Like this doing this before players. you make the blockless block. Like if you make the blockless block, then you've got the uh, then he's still down, which is terrible. And there is the blockless block fail. <laughs> so he's probably feeling pretty good about himself. Uh, you know, he's not passing to anyone, Dale. He's just trying to get the draw, isn't he? There's no way he can win. He's, he's just trying to survive. To survive to kicks is, is all he's got. Yes, for the undead, yes. There is, uh, I don't see uh, any way they can score. Yeah. Without absolutely crazy dice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it's definitely wise to give up on the score as the undead. No, I think no. No, Diddle. I think I think he was absolutely correct to give up on the score and just try to uh, just try to get zero zero. It's not always right to give up on the score. 
There's Diddle. There's Diddle. Uh, has got some experience off. But I think <laughs> but I think in this case it was right to give up on the score and just, just try and battle with everything you've got to uh, to get to kicks. Well, Barbara says we're in uh, innovative tactics here. <laughs> Getting blitzers close to the ball. Yeah. I mean, now there is the Aji for free. So. Yeah, yeah, it's, and and the other guard is coming round. Like every, all of it, all of it's coming in now, isn't it? But it, will it be too late? Oh, he just did two GFIs. Flip me. Why well, he's blitzing with the troll? Was that genuinely a blitz? Yes. Was a blitz. He was probably going to. <laughs> uh, okay. And then a one D. Oh, so he was going to pow and then go one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Yes. And then get a two D here. So this would be a three plus pickup. That was the plan. Well, now it's a three plus uh, pickup. <laughs> yeah, that's fair, Diddle. That's fair. Yeah, so he's got the ball. He probably has to just stay there, even though it's shit. <laughs> And he is going to go for the 1 in 9 dodge to get Wrestle hit. And have a mobile player around the ball. Oh, another 1 in 9. Man, he's had some shit dice, hasn't he? <laughs> yes, yes, the 1 in 9 has been worked very well for him. Man, he has had some shit dice. Now it's looking like the Orcs are going to do it. Unbelievable. On turn 24 as well. Wow. Yep, drop the DG in the chat. It was a hell of a game though, wasn't it? Yes, there's been a, a lot of uh, plays, a lot of action, a lot of rolls. Very good to watch. Yeah. And oh, it geez. all comes to this. Yep. To die. Two D, and then another two D, and then he's then he's looking good. <laughs> Not a troll bit. <laughs> no, it made sense in the end. The troll bit. It seemed a bit wild, didn't it? But then figured it out. Well, it was the mildest file estate. <laughs> Ooh. He's there. He's put it in not not as good a square as he could have been in, but it's good enough. Dead! Him. Dead, dead, dead! dead. <laughs> It's gonna be this a uh, five SPP play. <laughs> <coughs> and to be fair, the zombie can hit him for a one. He's gonna have to dodge away this black oak to tag the zombie. Cause he can't like he can't just he just can't get away from him. Well, okay, he can go to the sideline. I right, he's just gotta stand on the sideline, hasn't he? He's gotta stand on the sideline. He just has to. But he can't uh he can't like Go back to be safe. That's what I meant. Like he can't go into the cage. He stands twenty-three. Yeah, he's just got to go here. That's all he's got. He's literally just got to stand there. I guess. Maybe, I guess he could go a little bit further back so that it's it, easier for someone to blitz the zombie, right? So I guess you got to go six. One, two, three, four, five. Six. You got to stand there. Yeah. Should have been one, f one further back. Oh, I guess there's this one as well. Oh, so I guess with it being the ghoul there, 
Maybe you do want to be further down. Foul the goal. You've got to foul this, haven't you? Because he's going this way anyway, so you're not actually adding a tackle zone there. That's completely irrelevant. So you either GFI or you foul. Yes, if you are going there, foul. Yeah. Or don't foul, okay, but at least dodge the black hole. Oh, oh there you go. How oh, well, uh... Yeah, Wait, so, so there we what go. What black cork was the one doing the dodge? That wasn't the right black cork. This one, yeah, no, I, I, he just thought this was fine. That just a cheer fight did nothing was a good idea. So, there's a 4 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, and then a double cheer fight, one day him out, or double cheer fight to get an assist, or uh, just hit him without putting him out. He's got all sorts of opportunities. But yeah, he should have absolutely fouled. He should have either fouled or made an extra cheer fight, one of the two. Or dodge this guy. No, if you dodge him, he's there, so it's a bit tricky. You probably have to uphill the mummy or dodge this one first, then dodge him. There's a chance, isn't there? There's still a, a stupidly small chance for Chiegan. <laughs> yes, Pedro, yeah. Um, Dord's dream. Of completely skillless time tosses. Time tosses? Time tosses? Did I say time tosses? tosses? Yes. Dord's... And now the orcs score. Yeah. Dord's dream of completely skillless time tosses was not realised this game. But things happened. And. It's ended. <laughs> Congratulations to the Orcs. Commiserations to the Undead that uh, had some very unlucky roles. And in general, played well. Both of them, I think. Yeah. Oh, was that close to a server? Oh, man, that would be funny, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, oh, my. I'm absolutely shattered. Uh, thank you very much, Fami, for coming on and, and doing this. Uh, no worries. Always a pleasure to be here. Thank you very much. And uh, commiserations, chicken. Uh, congratulations, Crimsonic. What a crazy game. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.